It was a dark and stormy night and the wind was howling as Sarah made her way to the morgue. She was a new intern at the hospital, fresh out of medical school and eager to start her career. Sarah had always been fascinated by the afterlife and death, and working in the morgue was her dream come true. As she made her way through the dark and creepy halls of the hospital, she couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The storm outside seemed to be getting worse, and the flickering lights only added to the eerie atmosphere. When she finally reached the morgue, she was greeted by Dr. Johnson, the head mortician. Good evening, Sarah, he said, smiling warmly. I hope you're not too afraid of the dark, because we'll be working late tonight. Sarah tried to smile back, but her nerves were getting the best of her. She followed Dr. Johnson into the morgue and was greeted by the smell of antiseptic and formaldehyde. The room was lined with metal drawers, each one containing a dead body. Sarah's heart was pounding in her chest as Dr. Johnson showed her around the room. He explained the procedures and protocols, but Sarah was too busy scanning the room for any signs of supernatural activity. She was sure she heard whispers and whispers coming from the drawers, but she told herself it was just her imagination playing tricks on her. As they were finishing up their tour, a bolt of lightning lit up the room and the power went out. Sarah's heart was pounding in her chest as Dr. Johnson lit a candle and they made their way to the generator. As they were walking down the hall, Sarah heard a faint whisper coming from one of the drawers. She was sure it was just the wind, but she couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her. When they reached the generator, Dr. Johnson disappeared into the dark, leaving Sarah alone in the hallway. She was terrified, but she forced herself to stay calm and focus on the task at hand. As she was trying to start the generator, she heard a faint whisper coming from the drawer again. She was sure it was just her imagination, but she couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her. Just then, the generator sputtered to life and the lights came back on. Sarah breathed a sigh of relief and made her way back to the morgue. But when she got there, she saw that the door was open and Dr. Johnson was gone. Sarah's heart was pounding in her chest as she entered the morgue. She was sure that something was watching her, but she couldn't see anything. Suddenly, she heard a whisper coming from one of the drawers. She was sure it was Dr. Johnson playing a trick on her, but when she opened the drawer, she saw a ghostly figure standing there. The ghost was a young woman, and she was staring straight at Sarah with hollow eyes. Sarah was paralyzed with fear as the ghost started to whisper something, but she couldn't make out the words. She was sure she was going to die, but then the ghost disappeared and Sarah was alone again. She ran out of the morgue and back to her room, her heart pounding in her chest. She was sure she had just encountered a ghost, and she couldn't shake the feeling that it was still watching her. Days went by and Sarah started to think she was just overreacting. But then she received a package in the mail from Dr. Johnson. Inside was a note and a key. The note read, use the key to unlock the secrets of the morgue. Be careful, Sarah. The ghost is not what it seems. Sarah was intrigued and decided to investigate. She went back to the morgue and used the key to unlock one of the drawers. Inside, she found a journal written by the ghostly figure she had encountered. As she started to read, she realized that the ghost was not a ghost at all, but a woman who had been murdered and left to rot in the morgue. The woman's soul was trapped in the morgue, unable to move on to the afterlife until her killer was caught. Sarah was determined to find the killer and bring the woman's soul peace. She started to investigate, using the information in the journal to track down the leads. And after weeks of searching, she finally found the killer. But the twist was that the killer was none other than Dr. Johnson. He had been killing women for years and hiding their bodies in the morgue, thinking that no one would ever find out. When he realized that Sarah was onto him, he came after her. In a final showdown, Sarah was able to stop Dr. Johnson and bring the woman's soul to rest. And as she left the morgue, she realized that death was not the end, but a new beginning. The ghost in the morgue was now at peace, and Sarah was able to close the book on this chapter of her life and move on to the next.